We're talking with Scott Yoakum. Hi, Scott. How are you today? Great. And you are with Digital Tech Frontier. And uh, tell us about Digital Tech Frontier and what you have here at TCEA. Digital Tech Frontier is making innovative products that come alive for the classroom and at the home. Okay. Imagine augmented reality and virtual reality finally coming to reality. Now, for people that are watching that don't know what augmented reality is, what is augmented reality? A digital overlay in the real world. So a that digital overlay in the real world. So give me an example. like what I people can actually got. become an astronaut in front of you. You'll be able to see me on this TV turn into an astronaut. Oh, I want to see it. You want to see me turn yeah, into an astronaut? I do. I want to see that. it. All right. And so here we have just a regular TV. Nothing, no, nothing exciting about that. It's just a regular TV. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Do that again, but in slow motion. Okay. So there you are, and you've got a webcam, and you hold up that, and oh, now you're in. A, woo. Do 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 do. Okay. That's awesome. Thank okay, you. Okay. So how does it work? What what what's the technology behind this? We're taking a pattern. Okay. And we're having a webcam actually recognize that pattern and place a spatial 3D object on that pattern. If that pattern gets closer or farther away from a computer, it changes the shape and the direction of it. We can even take multiple patterns together and have them interact as digital play patterns. Okay, so uh, we've got some software running on a computer, yes, right? Sir. So you have to have the software, software running. Software and okay. a webcam, and, and a web augmented reality will work for you. Okay, great. And so tell me what you got here. This is like a pretty cool little book that you got. That... We've got a book. Okay. So we're going to turn the webcam on the book, and every time I turn the page of the book, okay, it right. actually... Let me show the book here. There's just a regular book. It doesn't look normal, but each page has one of these patterns on it. Pattern. Every it's time the... you turn the page, that object changes, and you can actually bring it closer, you can bring it farther away. And you can rotate that object as we well? Can, we can rotate the objects as well. We can even have a rocket ship fly out of the book. Okay, so here we go. We're looking at the Three, rocket. two, two, <laughs> uno, one, zero. And there we go. Launches right out of the book. That is awesomeness. That's cool. And so actually, I, I, I don't think this is actually doing it justice here. The, the, it's actually, it looks a lot more, it looks a lot cooler in, in real life than it does uh, on this, you know, flat on the screen. Okay, so what do we got here? And we have paddle to paddle interaction. Okay, so here, when I'm looking at it, there, there's nothing there. It doesn't look like anything's there. And then when I look at it on the screen there. We've read that it's Saturn. Okay. When it, when it sees it, it recognizes it. So That's, I'm going to turn the page here to Earth, and I think we're going to find... Boom, we've got the Earth. That is way cool. That's awesome. So the book will read it to you. You can see it in 3D and you can interact with it as well. Dude, I need this for my planetarium that I have in my school district. That is like way cool. Okay, so you got the we got the the way cool planet one. So what else do you guys got? Well, we have a set of curriculum for schools. Okay. This is great technology, but in the hands of teachers, we give them the ability to build their own augmented reality textbooks, curriculum, and lesson plans. Whoa! How do they do that? Well, come on over here to okay. our next station. Wow! It's it's like they have it set up or something already. <laughs> That's amazing. So let's say we're we're taking a biology class and we want to learn about the human heart. Okay. We can actually have teachers create objects and utilize them. What do they say in school? That the human heart is the size of a fist? Mm -hmm. What do you think is a better representation? My fist or a human heart? I'm going to go with human heart. I'm going to go with the human yeah. heart. You can wait, even, is it beating? It is beating. Oh, wait, it is I didn't alive. catch that. Put it back. Oh, it is beating. That is like totally gross and cool <laughs> at the same time. And then we can do the things that you normally couldn't do in school. See a transparent heart. Whoa, way awesome. You can even build a puzzle and pull a heart together. Okay, so like here on this? Like puzzle pieces. Right. You put them down, and as I pull them together, it actually builds a human heart. That's way cool. And then I can actually bring blood flow into that heart. Okay, so what grades are you targeting here with this uh, technology? Surprisingly enough, K through 12. Okay, you're like covered them all. They're covered them all. Glad to see that you're narrowing <laughs> it down. <laughs> well, because the tool allows for teachers to create their own curriculum, right. it really is the knowledge base of the teacher that is being applied. They can apply any object they want to this platform and right. then they can associate verbal information or visual information and they can create interaction as well. Now your wife was saying that you can pull anything down from Google SketchUp, is that mm -hmm. correct? We have a SketchUp plugin so that allows anybody who's got access to the internet to search on the Google 3D warehouse site, pull an object in 
and place it on that paddle within five minutes. So they've got like a gazillion things on Google SketchUp. Over that a million use. models for teachers to use free of charge. That's awesome. That is way awesome. Scott, thanks so much for, should, did I get that right? Scott, yes, all right. <laughs> I was like, well, Scott, right? Scott, this is too cool. How much is this? Just a, uh, the, the software is $4.99. $4.99. And the books are $20. And the books are $20 and the books aren't out yet. Is that right? Books are getting released at the Toy Fair in New York here in one week. And we should all go to the Toy Fair in New York. We should all go to the Toy Fair in New York okay. and, and enjoy a play patterns. Okay, Scott, thanks so much for talking to us. If somebody's interested in this product, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, go to poparbooks.com, P-O-P-A-R, books.com for our books, or they can go to the Augmented Reality Development Lab site.com. Pop our books is easier. Pop our books is easier. I would <laughs> I would agree. Um, the augmented reality site's great for education. Um, again, it's ardevelopmentlab.com. Okay, Scott, thanks so much for talking to us. Appreciate it. Thank you.